Louise Rober entered 2020 with grandiose expectations. His overall numbers disappointed, but he did show some of the brilliance that his scouts and fans alluding to him as the Cuban Mike Trout. It was ultimately a lot to ask for a 23-year-old making his first appearance in the world's top baseball league. A gold glove in center field as a rookie is a rarefied distinction, but everyone was ready to turn the calendar to 2021 and see what he could do with some seasoning and a full slate of games. Special thanks to Luke Hooper of Fangraphs, who put together a great look at Rover's 2021 season. I borrow some of his analysis. The link to that article is in the description. Head on over and check it out. Keying on a few analytic statistics, and specifically WRC+. Rober was exactly league average in 2020, and in April of 2021 appeared on a similar trajectory. Rober's biggest flaw was a league high 22.1% swinging strike percentage, which led to an exorbitant 32.2% strikeout percentage and resulted in softer contact overall than you would expect at 87.9 miles per hour. Many thought disaster struck in early May as a torn hip flexor threatened his entire season, and who knows what the long-term implications could be. Rober clearly rehabbed diligently and, while out, worked on his batting flaws. He came back after only three months and instantly looked like the prospect everyone thought they were getting in 2020. For the remainder of 2021, he had a 173 WRC+, meaning he was 73% better than the league average batter. His swinging strike percentage dropped to a closer to league average 14.5%. Overall, he hit 350 with a 389 on base percentage while slugging 622 for us old school stat heads. And his strikeout percentage nearly halved to 17.1%. The ball was now leaving his bat at 92 miles per hour on average. All of these adjustments fall in line with my assessment from the earlier profile video I put together on him. More so in seeing him in AAA in 2019, I captured a full at bat and he looked foolish against breaking pitches on strike one and two, but stayed in and flicked an easy triple in the same at bat. In short, Rober bounced back from an underwhelming rookie year and rebounded from a serious injury that might end an older player's career and effectively played at an MVP level in the last months of the season. I'll stop talking now and let you enjoy some of Rober's work from 2021, but do you think he has arrived and is the hype warranted? As always, subscribe here on YouTube, smash the like button like a hanging slider, or share this video.